Hi all, we are very excited for you to try out Bito's AI code review agent that we have recently launched. Let's quickly show you how to set it up. Go to bito.ai and then click on sign in to sign into your account. Once you sign in, select the workspace wherein you have purchased the 10x developer plan. Uh, this is available only to users who basically have 10x developer plan. In case you need access to it, please email support at bito.ai to get an access for free trial. Let's go back here. Let me sign into my workspace. Once I sign into my workspace, on the left hand side, I see various options. Out here, let me go to explore agents and you can see code review agent as one of the agents which is available, wherein you can create a new instance. So to use a code review agent, Let's start by creating a new instance of code review agent. Now out here, you can select your repository provider, which might be GitHub or GitLab. Here, I'll first start with GitHub because I have a GitHub repository on which I want to set up the code review agent. I'll need GitHub access token to basically set up the code review agent. Now let me actually go to my GitHub account. Out here, let me go to settings and in settings i'll go to developer settings under which i have personal access token and i'll be creating tokens which is classic let's click on generate new token here classic and let me give a note what is this token for so this is for the code review agent okay let me set the expiry to 90 days for now and the only access that I need is the repository access. That's it. After I'm done, I'll say generate token. It generates a token. Let me actually copy it here. Let me go back to my Bito account and paste the GitHub token here. After I'm done, let me give an instance name. I want to set this code review agent as a Git hook for one of my projects. Now let me actually go to home and I'll set it up for AI automation project. So let me go here and say you know, CRA for AI automation. Okay. Get hook. And let me click on save and view setup instructions. So once I save it for GitHub, I get setup instructions of how to set up the webhook. Now out here, log into your GitHub, access your repository, navigate to webhooks, configure the payload URL. So let's do that. Let me copy the payload URL here. This is my AI automation project. Let me go to settings. In settings, I have webhooks. Now out here, let me add a webhook. I'll paste the payload URL out here. The content type should be application in JSON, right? Out here in JSON format. Then to secure a webhook for additional security, you know, you need a secret field. So this is the secret field input that I need to give. Let me go back, paste the secret here. I've done that. Then let me go back and it says specify trigger events. Okay. Let me select individual events and I need to basically select issue comments and pull requests. These are the two things that I need to basically select. So let me go back. Let me select individual events. So issue comments and pull requests. These are the two things that I need. Cool. Pushes to the repository. Actually, I don't need that. These two are good enough. I'll make it active and add the webhook. The moment I add the webhook, you know, it's always good to actually click on it. Go to recent deliveries. And if you see, the moment you create the webhook, you know, GitHub or GitLab will ping that particular webhook and it shows as a green tick mark that means it's successfully set up properly now let me test it quickly whether my git hook is working or not 
So let me go to the pull request in this particular repository, which is AI automation. You can select any existing one, which is either open or closed. Let me select one, which is there. And let me quickly go and add a command slash review. Because we have set up the webhook, I can give special commands like slash review, which will in turn, you know, let the code review agent run on request. So it will run surely whenever you basically make any pull request. But if you want to run it on your own for an existing PR, which was created before you set up the code review agent, you can give slash review and it will run. So that's it. That's how you set up the, uh, you know, code review agent as a Git hook directly uh, in GitHub for your repository. It will take some time to run and the output will be available in some time. There you go. I ran the review and this is the review from the Bitto AI code review agent. As you can see, you see the, you know, pull request analysis, the feedback and the suggestion for changes. That's it. Thank you folks. Enjoy.